Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fortress of Solitude. Today we're going to be checking out Absolute Power Origins Issue 3 by John Ridley and Aletha Martinez. Waller's early crusade against vigilantes continues and takes a turn when Waller has her first meeting with the Batman, blows through all of her people in Belle Reve to confront the woman. I love that we don't actually see the actual initial interaction between these two. It's told from a recounting Waller is telling Rick Flagg, but it's interesting to note that in the initial confrontation, we see that Waller is terrified, something we never actually see at all since she's usually pretty stone-faced and I quite like that she finally gets caught off guard here. After Batman leaves though, Waller is pissed that he was able to even get into their off the books black site, unable to comprehend how a man in a rubber suit could have done all of this. Waller figures that Batman came for her because he wanted her to know that he could, not even talking with her or anything, merely destroying her operation then just leaving. This ends up motivating Waller even more and this affects her family life even more than ever as she goes to see her heavily pregnant daughter Coretta and Waller could not be more uninterested if she tried. Waller tries to explain to her daughter that she is protecting her and their democracy as a country, but Coretta reveals she actually has a recording between Amanda and the president, one we saw earlier in issue 2, where Waller admitted to lying to her family and even to the president to get what she wants and to get results. Instead of understanding what this means and how this can affect their relationship, Waller is actually just more impressed that Coretta spied on her successfully. This really shows just how disconnected from reality Walla has become. Her own daughter is confronting her about her lies and what she is doing in her job and all Walla is interested in is her daughter's knack for spycraft. Coretta reveals that this isn't the first thing that she's seen her mother doing and over the years she's seen all her underhanded deals and things she'd do to get ahead in front of people and it's all compounded in her life until this very moment where Coretta tells Amanda to stay away from her and her unborn child until she fixes herself. Walla throws herself back into work though, trying to figure out how to deal with Batman and she realizes that Batman didn't actually break into the base, he was already there, as Batman was discussed as a prisoner named Matches Malone, who was transported into Belle Reve with a group of prisoners recently. This puts Waller on a focused hunt to find out who Matches really is. Having the cell he occupied combed for fingerprints and any other evidence of who Matches and Batman really is. And this causes Rick Flagg to begin to question her motives, especially when she starts talking about sending black teams out into Gotham to comb for fingerprints and, you know, surveil innocent and Americans, something which he is vehemently against, but Waller of course gets her way, putting Rick in his place and she starts her surveillance before going to see Coretta, who has given birth to her daughter. Of course, Waller is not welcome at the hospital by her sons who want nothing to do with the woman who was once their mother, but has become something completely different now. One of her sons though, Jesse, does try to figure out what is going on with her though, since this isn't what they wanted as a family, and he didn't expect something like this to happen happen after their father and sister's deaths. Waller does promise though after she is finished with her mission, their family will be able to go back to the way it was since they'll be safe, but until then she is going to continue the fight against the threats to the world, even if those threats seemingly are the heroes of this world. Absolute Power Origins Issue 3 was a fantastic conclusion to Ridley's three issue series that it's a real shame it actually was just a mini since this could easily just be an ongoing, a Waller ongoing. The drama of Waller being pulled in different directions by the love of her family and the job that she has made for herself is so compelling and really makes her much more of a sympathetic and understandable villain. You can kind of see where she's coming from, however she's going about it in a completely unethical and dangerous way. Definitely check out this series if you haven't already or were waiting for it to be finished since it's well worth it. Just John really just understands the assignment and has made Waller that much more interesting. I am going to give this issue a 9 out of 10.